Good morning, and thanks a lot for joining. So the theme of this conference uh, is uh, evaluating the future. Where are we going? And uh, I think is the perfect uh, theme for uh, uh, the Uyuni community uh, to look uh, uh, back at our past and uh, uh, try to, to plan uh, uh, together uh, our, uh, our future. So um, I'm uh, Marina Latini. I'm one of the release engineers for uh, uh, Susan Manager and Uyoni. Raul is also here uh, in the room, and uh, he will have uh, um, another presentation uh, later today. But I will tell you something more about that uh, later. And uh, today I want to try to uh, guide you, dive you into this uh, uh, history of uh, our project, looking at the future. So from where we started? Uh, well, as you can see, uh, yeah, it's not a typo, um, 2018, Open Source Conference, uh, and uh, that is uh, when uh, uh, the, the Uyuni project uh, has been uh, uh, officially announced. So um, let me ask you a question. Um, do you know already the Uyuni project? Raise your hand. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> um, well, uh, the presentation from uh, 2018 uh, was, of course, uh, also uh, trying to clarify uh, which were the issues that, uh, uh, at the end, uh, um, pushed uh, the uh, creation of this uh, uh, new community. I think it's important, in any case, uh, when we are looking at the future, uh, to look at uh, what uh, which were the, the decisions, the, the reasons for uh, uh, this kind of, uh, of move. It's true that uh, in uh, an open source project uh, uh, can happen that uh, someone decides to, to fork and to create another project, but the idea is to uh, always try to do these really um, impacting uh, changes for, uh, for a good reason, not just for the sakeness of um, creating a yet another project uh, just uh, with, a, with a different name. And uh, when it comes to um, Uyuni, uh, well, everything uh, started uh, with uh, Spacewalk. So raise your hand uh, if uh, you used uh, Spacewalk. Okay, uh, you know you are developing. Uh, probably <laughs> you were developing on it, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> so uh, you know already uh, something about Spacewalk, but for, uh, for the others in the room, um, Spacewalk was uh, uh, an open source project. So, um, for, uh, from that point of view, nothing wrong, it's, uh, it's open source. And uh, um, it was a project uh, for uh, doing uh, system management. Okay. Uh, was a project uh, less or more started around uh, 2008. And uh, um, that was the project uh, used uh, as, a, as a base for uh, Red Hat Satellite 5 and also uh, SUSE Manager. Um, and, uh, Looking uh, at uh, uh, 2018, in that moment uh, there, there were some issues uh, uh, with, um, with the project. Uh, in particular, uh, the feeling was that uh, Spacewalk was uh, going a bit uh, in, uh, in standby, on hold, uh, not really getting uh, the traction that was uh, uh, needed for a, a normal open source project that can get contributions from uh, companies, uh, community members, uh, and uh, anyone that can be interested to, to give something, uh, to, to create something, uh, something new. And uh, yeah, so um, probably you also heard about uh, Satellite uh, 6 but uh, that uh, had nothing to do with, uh, uh, with the original uh, uh, Spacewalk. That was the, the new project uh, from uh, uh, Red Hat, and uh, uh, actually uh, the introduction of uh, uh, this uh, different project was also uh, one of the reasons uh, of the uh, tension, let me call it like that, <laughs> between uh, uh, the community behind uh, uh, Spacewalk and uh, the, let's say, the, the company side, the work done uh, by, by the company. So uh, that was uh, Spacewalk. Then, uh, as I mentioned, uh, there was a uh, Susan Manager. Susan Manager was already there. And uh, um, Susan Manager, um, 
yeah, we, we can call it uh, the, uh, the answer uh, to Red Hat Satellite. Uh, of course, uh, SUSE had, uh, a, let's say, an interest in having uh, this kind of technology, this kind of product. It's uh, perfectly fine, and uh, it happens always uh, in the open source world to have uh, uh, several uh, companies uh, behind uh, a project uh, uh, making uh, the, their business uh, around the project. And for uh, Susan Manager, uh, the, the product was uh, a, a branch of uh, Spacewalk, uh, so it was not a fork of it, uh, that is uh, the, the key part. And uh, uh, it, it had some uh, advantages if compared with uh, um, Spacewalk because it uh, uh, was um, easier to, to install. Uh, um, the, all the configuration management was done using uh, SALT, and uh, keep that in mind, SALT. I will tell you later why. <laughs> and uh, there was already uh, an integration uh, with uh, containers, uh, Kubernetes, and uh, last but not least, uh, the user interface uh, uh, was, uh, let's say, more modern, uh, done with uh, modern technology if compared with, uh, with the rest. So there were two different uh, ways to um, contribute to something that was in common that was a uh, um, spacewalk. And um, uh, so at that time, uh, for uh, uh, SUSE Manager, uh, the upstream project uh, was indeed uh, um, Spacewalk. And uh, when uh, uh, that presentation, so the announcement, uh, the fork, uh, um, happened, uh, SUSE Manager uh, was uh, on version uh, 3.2, and uh, it was based on uh, Spacewalk uh, 2.8. Um, in this case, uh, I'm keeping it at the present. <laughs> it's not a typo in the slides. So the manager is open source. It was open source, is still open source. And uh, uh, the, the difference was that uh, the development was uh, done uh, a bit more uh, internally because there was, in any case, the, the upstream project that was a uh, spacewalk. And so the manager was more uh, uh, the, the, the part uh, uh, where uh, the, the product, uh, where uh, SUSE was, uh, was focusing uh, for, uh, for the business part. So uh, source code and so on was, uh, was there, but uh, uh, the, the development um, was done less open than, uh, than now. Let's, uh, let's phrase it like that. And in any case, uh, the other important aspect, uh, SUSE was still uh, uh, constantly contributing to, to Spacewalk. So um, was not just uh, a company taking a product for, uh, from another one and try to make money out of that. Uh, and this is some, something that sometimes uh, can happen uh, when uh, there are open source projects uh, reused uh, by uh, other companies or other um, uh, interested uh, parties. And uh, yeah, there were problems. Uh, reality is that it uh, was not exactly easy to make uh, contributions. Uh, really often it was happening that uh, uh, there were um, pull requests open that were just uh, waiting there uh, forever uh, without being reviewed or without being merged. And I'm not talking only about uh, contributions from uh, SUSE, but also uh, contributions from uh, uh, other users. And that is, uh, I mean, it's not nice. <laughs> it's not uh, the, the right spirit uh, to, to handle uh, an open source uh, uh, project. Um, due to this, uh, uh, the differences uh, in the code base uh, uh, were increasing because uh, uh, there were pull uh, requests open, uh, not merged, uh, so the, the code base uh, was also uh, a bit uh, going to uh, diverge. And uh, um, this is a quote from uh, the old uh, Spacewalk uh, FAQ website. If you check now, it's not there anymore because uh, Red Hat was uh, uh, also uh, updating uh, that, uh, that page. But of course, if you look at the Git history or um, Internet Archive, you will, uh, you will find it. And uh, that was uh, something uh, concerning. The statement was this, Red Hat uh, code contributions will decrease over time as the focus shifts to maintenance and stabilization of the current set of features. I mean, this is really, you know, the, the alarm. Something uh, is going bad. The community needs to do something. And, uh, uh, yeah, there were concern. Uh, at uh, this uh, link, you can also find uh, uh, one, uh, one example, but this one is uh, the, the quote I took from, um, from, the, from the message, from uh, the, the mailing list. So there were indeed... Uh, uh, users also starting to be uh, concerned and trying to 
uh, understand uh, what to do and uh, in, uh, in which uh, uh, direction to go. And uh, as you can imagine, uh, it's not that uh, Suze was just uh, waiting uh, for uh, Red Hat without uh, uh, trying to discuss, without trying to, to talk uh, to, to the other side. And actually, the spacewalk community was uh, directly uh, asking for help. And again, this is another uh, quote from uh, the FAQ that was there until uh, April uh, 18. Uh, it's not there anymore, but uh, again, Internet Archive <laughs> or uh, uh, the, the history and uh, you, will, uh, you will get it. This was the statement. So clearly, uh, Red Hat was asking for uh, someone else uh, to take over because if you read between the lines, the, the impression was that uh, they were just focusing on something else. Uh, it was an open source project, uh, and uh, they tried uh, to see if there was uh, someone else more uh, uh, interested to, to the project. And uh, that was the answer. So 2018, the Uyuni project uh, has been uh, announced. Uh, now, let me ask you. Uh, do you know why the project is called in this way? Why this weird name? Why this weird uh, logo that apparently doesn't have any sense, but actually uh, it has one? Any idea? So, spoiler. I told you before, SALT is uh, the key for us uh, for managing systems. And indeed, Uyoni is, is a place that exists. It's in uh, Bolivia, and uh, is the, uh, the Salar de Uyoni is the world's largest salt flat. So why not? We are using salt as a technology. Let's put uh, uh, something, uh, you know, the, the nerds <laughs> that are taking, uh, taking over and deciding uh, uh, a, a name for a new project. The usual issue of naming projects that we all, uh, uh, sooner or later, we are facing. And uh, back to the logo. This is uh, the, the, the crystal of salt. So it's just uh, uh, the, the shape of uh, the, the crystal of salt. Now, with, uh, let's say, the, the subtitle, the name is uh, as a sense. Uh, but, uh, yeah, in any case, we, we like to, uh, to stick with, uh, uh, with this name, even if it's not uh, immediate uh, for, uh, let's say, outsider to understand uh, why we, we took this name, uh, why this logo, and so on. And uh, so we had a uni, and what about Spacewalk? Well, uh, the fork was... Uh, uh, nothing uh, uh, intended as a, uh, an hostile fork. So the, the idea was to have uh, two independent uh, communities, two independent projects uh, that uh, uh, in any case uh, um, were still able to interact, meaning that, uh, uh, of course, uh, um, contributors from Spacewalk uh, were able to, to get uh, source code from Uni, potentially also the other way around. Uh, but uh, the, the other important uh, uh, aspect was that, indeed, uh, Spacewalk was not uh, the upstream for Uyuni. Uyuni uh, was uh, uh, designed and defined uh, as a, an independent project, so a new upstream uh, project. And, um, I mean, the project was there. <laughs> now it was time to decide what to do with this project. And... Uh, um, this one uh, is uh, the initial vision from uh, 2018, and of course, uh, a lot of things uh, uh, happened. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, actually, um, the, the plans uh, are not just uh, plans on paper, because uh, we made real uh, what we were uh, planning uh, uh, in uh, 2018. Uh, for instance, uh, we have, uh, the, the development is done in the open. Uh, we have uh, public uh, repositories. Uh, we are building uh, uh, our uh, um, pro product uh, uh, using uh, the open build service. And uh, um, when you try to install a un a Uni, uh, the repository that uh, you get for uh, managing uh, all the clients, uh, uh, that can be handled by uh, Uyuni, are repositories that are generated uh, thanks to the, to the open build service. Um, there are mailing lists. Uh, we have uh, discussions uh, on, uh, on GitHub. So this one was the initial plan. 
And uh, for the very first release, uh, the operating system that uh, has been used uh, was indeed OpenSUSE LIP 42.3. And uh, this is also one more connection uh, with the open source project. Uh, um, the announcement of the fork uh, was happening, uh, uh, happened uh, at the open source conference. Uh, we are here today uh, still presenting Uyuni. And even if uh, Uyuni is uh, a bit, uh, let's say, independent from uh, uh, open source, reality is that the connection is, uh, is uh, strong. And uh, we are uh, uh, just uh, two communities uh, that are working together with uh, a lot of people that actually are on both parts, so it's not uh, something really split uh, and uh, uh, different. And um, when there was the announcement, uh, then the plan was to uh, go on with uh, uh, the next release uh, based on uh, LIP 15.0, 15, uh, sorry. And uh, uh, the plan was uh, uh, continuing uh, in, in that way. It's not that uh, uh, after the first release, uh, things uh, started to uh, slow down. Uh, actually, um, Uyuni is based on uh, LIP 15.5. There are plans uh, uh, for uh, uh, moving uh, <laughs> to the future. But uh, I don't want to spoil uh, this part because uh, Raul will, uh, will tell you more uh, uh, later about the future of, uh, of Uyuni. And uh, the last point, uh, this is something that for us is really important. We wanted to define uh, the release model together with the community, and in general, we wanted to keep the community as a focus uh, of uh, our project. We don't want to have a project that is just uh, uh, something uh, um, handled by a company that uh, uh, allows uh, external contributors to do something. The community is uh, our focus. And continuing uh, with uh, the future, uh, this ballot, uh, I will explain it later, the one that is in, in italic, I mean, was, uh, again, plans from 2018, uh, but uh, some things are already reality. Um, for uh, some of the ideas, uh, we thought that maybe was not exactly the best uh, idea that we had uh, at that time. So I'm talking about uh, the first ballot. Uh, Uyuni will be the upstream for Susan Manager. It's still like that, and uh, the new Susan Manager uh, under development uh, actually uh, is uh, uh, as the very same uh, source code that uh, is available on uh, on Uyuni on the public repo. Um, the features are uh, features that are coming uh, not only from SUSE but also from uh, the community. Uh, I have um, an additional detail uh, on uh, on this uh, process, but. Uh, the idea is that uh, the community can uh, propose uh, um, also bigger functionalities, bigger uh, features, and for that uh, we have a specific process where uh, uh, the, the new feature is discussed uh, in public uh, with all the technical details, so a clear uh, RFC uh, where uh, Everyone can uh, contribute, uh, of course, also from the technical side, uh, trying to define and to design uh, the, the new features that uh, uh, should be uh, then uh, made real with, uh, with development. Um, in any case, uh, um, the plan to support uh, several uh, uh, Linux distributions is, uh, is there. Um, the amount of distributions that uh, we are supporting is growing, uh, growing, uh, growing. Probably it's a bit too much, you know, <laughs> jokes apart. But uh, uh, the idea is that uh, uh, Uyuni wants to be the tool that you can use uh, for doing uh, uh, the management of uh, your infrastructure without thinking that uh, for managing uh, uh, Ubuntu or Debian clients, uh, you need to have uh, this software. Then if you want to manage uh, um, OpenSUSE, you need the other. No, it's one. And you can focus uh, on the real work, because the tool uh, will be able to handle uh, everything uh, behind the, the scenes. On the <laughs> non-Linux clients, uh, that is the point that I wanted to uh, clarify. Initially, there was a, you know, uh, the the idea, the uh, yeah, the the idea to uh, also start to support a different operating system, for instance, Windows. The reality is that uh, if you want to do things uh, in the proper way, you can't do everything. So. Let's focus on the Linux clients. Let's focus uh, on uh, uh, a proper support for those operating systems. Then let's see what the future will, 
will uh, bring us, but for the moment, uh, no, <laughs> you are not going to see the uh, support for, uh, for Windows uh, on, uh, on Ioni. And then, of course, translations uh, or uh, any other full idea that uh, you could have in mind. Uh, this is something that was uh, planned uh, in 2018, but uh, that is uh, absolutely reality. And uh, what about spacewalk? Well, maybe the idea uh, to fork was not so bad, because our fork was from 2018, and uh, May 31st, 2020, the project has been killed. <laughs> so in this way, uh, at least uh, the users, the contributors uh, uh, interested to still uh, use this kind of tools uh, have an alternative. And that is also the, the power of uh, open source. I mean, it's sad to see an open source project uh, dying, but uh, it's also what, what is happening when uh, um, the interactions uh, between uh, community and uh, uh, the companies that are behind the project uh, are not really functioning uh, in, uh, in the right way. And with that, uh, so what you can do now, which is the future? But, uh, of course, you should join uh, the community. And uh, uh, from the website, uh, you can find uh, um, all the um, general information, uh, um, the slides uh, that will be shared in any case uh, have also the hyperlink, uh, but from the main project, from the main uh, website, sorry, uh, you can see the, the contact page where you, um, you will find uh, also links uh, to our uh, uh, GitHub discussions, uh, mailing list, uh, uh, Gitter, because we use uh, Gitter for the chat. And uh, uh, that is the uh, RFC process uh, that I was mentioning before uh, on uh, one of the repository under the Uyuni project uh, organization in uh, GitHub. We have this uh, Uyuni RFC. You can have a look uh, at the existing uh, RFC. If you want, you can propose something new. Then, of course, uh, the, the discussion with the development, uh, uh, with the developers, sorry, uh, will start. Uh, and uh, it's not immediate uh, to, to have a new feature uh, ready to be implemented, of course. But the specifications are discussed in, uh, in, that, uh, in that repository. And uh, the, the last point uh, is the community hours. Uh, this is something that uh, we are really proud of. Uh, every uh, last Friday of the month, we have uh, a meeting uh, with, uh, um, with the community. And uh, the idea is that uh, uh, there are presentations from uh, the community, presentations from uh, the development team uh, from uh, SUMA, from SUSE Manager. And uh, um, we are sharing ideas. Uh, we are uh, sharing uh, also POC or... Um, new features that maybe someone wants to implement, uh, and we are trying to stay in touch and to get uh, uh, more uh, uh, full ideas <laughs> from, uh, also from, uh, from the community. And uh, if you want to start uh, uh, to contribute to um, Uyoni, uh, don't miss uh, the presentation from uh, Raul that will happen later today. Uh, you have all the links here, but uh, uh, Raul will, uh, will give you uh, a, um, an introduction on what you can do with, uh, with Uyuni and uh, then uh, how, to, how to start. And uh, about the community hours, uh, last Friday of the month, tomorrow. So we will have uh, the community hours directly live uh, from uh, the OpenSUSE uh, conference, so tomorrow. And uh, we will have, uh, um, given that, I mean, we are at the conference, uh, we want to do something uh, uh, a little bit more uh, special. So we will have uh, uh, a special session uh, um, with uh, our uh, mentees from uh, the Google Summer of Code that uh, will give uh, also a, an overview of what they are doing uh, currently uh, for, the, for the Summer of Code. But I don't want to spoil <laughs> all the rest. So please <laughs> join also the, the session uh, uh, on Friday. And uh, with that, I'm done. So if you have questions, I'm happy to try to pick some. OK. Then thanks a lot for joining.